Hi friends, I'm Ellie and welcome back to TechTrix channel. Today I want to show you how to create this amazing inventory management list in Google Sheets. With an inventory management list, you can track all the stock levels across your store. You can list all the products and their information and record whenever anything is added or taken out. Ok, let's see how to create this amazing list. Let's create this simple inventory list that we can filter columns, create reorder alert, remove products that you don't want to reorder, automatically calculate inventory value, total inventory value, and inventory items. And at the end, have a chart for quantity in stock. Alright, I begin with creating columns and rows. I merge the first row of A to I columns, and I type inventory list. Now I make it bold, change the font size, and I make it middle and center. I change the background color of the cell to dark green. The first information I need to input is the heading for each column. I need ID, product name, quantity purchased, unit price, Quantity in stock, inventory value, reorder quantity, reorder, and discontinued. Okay, now I do some formatting. Now let's type some sample data. I give one as an ID for the laptop product and enter the corresponding information. Inventory values can be calculated by multiplying the number of item on hands with the unit price of the items. So unit price multiplied by quantity in stock. Now I want to have a reorder message when the quantity in stock value is less than reorder quantity value. So it is a very simple if function. Equal sign if e3 less than g3 show reorder message. Otherwise, show nothing. As you can see, here the quantity in stock is less than reorder quantity. So, reorder is displayed. Now after displaying reorder message, I want the sales background automatically change to red. I can do this with conditional formatting. So, on the format tab, I choose conditional formatting. I select the reorder column and for format rules, the best choice is text contains. For value, I type reorder and background color red. As you can see, the cell color changed to red. The last header is discontinued. For discontinued, I need two options, yes or no. So I should use data validation. On the data tab, I choose data validation. Now I select the range. For the criteria, list of items. I should enter items and separate them with a comma. So yes, comma, no. Reject input and save. As you can see now I have drop down list with yes and no options. Now I want when I choose yes, the sales background of the row becomes light red and strike through the data. I can do this with conditional formatting. 
So in the Format tab, I choose Conditional Formatting. I select the range on the Single Color tab. I choose Custom Formula for Format Rules. Now I should type the formula. Equal sign, dollar sign, I3, equal, yes in quotations. For formatting style, I prefer light red. And select through and done. Okay, my table is finished. Let's add more sample data. To have formulas and formats for these cells, highlight the cells and press Ctrl D. As you can see, the reorder message automatically appears, and if I choose yes, the cell format will change. Now I want to have total inventory value, so I merge these cells and do some formatting. To calculate it, I need the sum function for the inventory value column. So equal sign, sum, and F column. I also want to sell for inventory items. So I do some formatting again. Now I need the count A function which returns the number of values in the data set. So equal sign, count A. Now for the value, I choose product name column. As you can see, it gives me 60 items. For the last item, let's create a chart for quantity and stock. And insert tab, I choose chart. This pen will open. I prefer a pie chart for chart type. Now I should select the data range. I highlight product name and inventory value ranges. You can choose any other range you want. Okay, my chart is created. You can do any other formatting on the Customize tab. As you can see, a basic inventory list is created. Let's add another product and see how the chart automatically will update. All right, we'll learn how to create an inventory management list. With an inventory management system, companies can be more accurate and productive. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Okay, thanks for your watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.